Hello, Holan here from daddyonthego.com. So if you follow my blog, you know I'm moving over to Germany and uh, I just want to talk about a little bit why I got the Baby on the Go Deluxe Stroller. Uh, again, that's shown right here with the Recaro Pro Ride. Okay, so I have three seats booked, one for me, my wife, and my son. And you know, he's only one, my son's only one, so he needs to ride in the plane safely, so he needs to ride in this car seat. All right, so you look at the car seat, instead of lugging this car seat through the airport, through security, you know, why not use it as a stroller? John Cindy introduced me to this GoGo -Go Baby. Uh, they have the Travel Mate, which they love. I got the Deluxe because I wanted the front, the two front wheels in the front. Okay, now, it's, almost, it's like a stroller, you can push it around, it's easy, and my wife will probably be pushing this around while I lug the two carry-ons around. Uh, and that way my son has a seat. We didn't, our stroller, we're probably just gonna ch uh, check it in as baggage, and that way we'll have that when we get to Germany. Uh, this is just an easy way to get through the airport and also carry the stroller onto the plane. Uh, once again on the plane, hopefully I'll take some photos so that you can see what it looks like uh, strapped in, and again, from the video, you can see how compact it folds down and it comes apart pretty easily too. So again, this is the GoBo Baby Deluxe. And uh, check me out, daddyonthego.com for my reviews and locations and stuff like that. All right, peace out. All right, today we're gonna to talk about the GoGo -Go Babies Deluxe. Uh, this is, you can use this to attach a uh, car seat, which is my Recaro Pro Ride. Uh, it can attach to this. Uh, I did purchase this. This is the deluxe, and you know this because it has the big, the medium size wheel and the two small wheels up front. Okay. Um, I bought this for about like $90, $98 on Amazon. It was an open box item, brand new. These run about $150. So, you know, I went and picked this up for open box. You know, it's hit or miss on Amazon, open box. So, this is not the cruiser. The cruiser, the deluxe cruiser, has a larger wheel. And this is not the travel mate because the travel mate does not have these front wheels on it. All right, only the deluxe has these front wheels and a medium sized wheels. All right, so open box. What it came with was came with these two wheels. Uh, came with this this uh, the strollering pushing part, I guess. You have these three different lengths cables. You also have these two uh, belt clips and then an infant clip and some instructions, okay? That's all that came in my bag. I did have to put this together. Um, I put, I had to put the wheels on. What's nice about this is the wheels come off. If you can see, there's that little pin, you just push down and the wind pin comes off, right? And you had these, this pin right here and this metal bar that runs all the way through to the other side, okay? Um, just put it in locks the place and it locks doesn't move anymore okay then you have this the push bar kind of like a suitcase now i do recommend that when you install this that you have this part these nubs are facing forward they're facing this part so they lock in to right here so when you put it down they lock and you, you kind of just hold it like that does it come off okay so Again, this is the GoGo -Go Baby Deluxe stroller, and you can see it, it, if I push down on this button right here, it releases and it folds up. And you can see that there's a locking mechanism right here. You can see this. So it pushes in, oops, pushes in, it locks, so it doesn't move. If you wanna release it, you just put it and it'll come out like that, and it'll come down. All right, again, here's a brake, locks it, it doesn't move. You can see the back wheels are locked. This is obviously safety, you know, so your baby doesn't go rolling off on its own. So I'm gonna show you how I've connected this, okay? Now, I just wanna show you how I use these. So I have this buckle, all right, it's a cranking buckle. You kind of crank it like this. I hook one of these up here, okay, up to the front. And then I hook the other one the back to this little right here, this swivels. I just hook it up to the back like this. It's locked on. 
Now I don't use I don't use the longest line and these are adjustable. I don't know if you can see this. This is adjustable. Okay. This is adjustable like this. So you can make it longer and shorter. This is the longest one. As you can see, it goes pretty long. Yeah, but I'm not using this. I'll use this the shorter one. Okay. What I am going to use is I use the shortest one. This is the shortest cable. And this is the medium cable. I use both of these. Now, I put the shortest cable on the back. That's just the way how it works in my carrier. Just latch on like that. The medium cable. Latch on like this. Okay. So there we have it. We have these two on one side and the brakes on the side. And again, this can extend. Hence like that. And you can see it just pushes around. Okay, now I'll show you a little demo of that. But for now, let's keep it on there. All right, I'm going to put the car seat on. So, all right. So I'm going to drop the car seat on just right on top like this. You can see it's a nice fit. The base fits right on. Now again, I'm just putting the Recaro base right on here. You can see it still moves around, but it, it but it fits very nicely on it. All right, the base is very nice. Now with the Recaro, this is a front facing or a rear facing car seat. Okay, so in my car, my son's only one. Um, so he's rear facing. However, since this is like a stroller, we have a stroller like thing, he's facing forward. Obviously he wants to see. So first things first is for the front facing, I have this inclined, not like that, but I have it inclined so he's sitting more upright so he can see what's going on, okay? Uh, when you're, you are using the rear facing, you do need to have it inclined all the way back like that. So, um, Lock it in like this. So here's how I do it first. What I do is I take the short strap right here. Okay, here's the short strap. I'm gonna run it through the, the front facing lock, is what they call it, the front seat belt loops. It just loops right through like this. All right, you see that? Take the latch. Now this latch, it looks like this, all right, and this is a little lever. The belt actually goes underneath. It goes through right here. I don't know if you can see that little hole the hole right there, you're gonna go through right there, okay? It actually says insert strap under this piece, which means below right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. If you wanna watch, it goes right through underneath like this. All right, and you can hear it click. And then once it clicks, you can just, you can just crank it up. So you can see the base is lifting up a little bit once it starts cranking. You can see like that, hence this is why we have the front. Now to lock the front, and this is how you loop the seat belt through. First, on the bottom of the car, there's these little clips right here, okay? You have to clip right here on the bottom. You're gonna have to unclip these. All right, normally it sits on the bottom like this and clip. You have to unclip, there's four of them. One, one, two, three, four. So you have access to the bottom part. Now, you'll see right here, there's a little hole. This is for the rear seatbelt when you put the rear seatbelt on. So again, this is the latch. I'm gonna loop it right through. All right, now it's gonna go behind this seatbelt right here, all right? The seatbelt buckle, it's gonna go behind, it has to go behind that strap. So I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it has to go behind the strap right here, okay? And it goes through this hole right here. And there you go, so overall, you see the strap going through behind the seatbelt buckle. Latched over here, and it comes over here, and then it comes over this latch. And again, we just, if you look, it is right here, underneath the buckle. Okay, and it slides in, it clicks in, and it's tight. I know it looks like the seat blocks it, it does go up in the seat, but 
it does get a tight enough response so that the seat does not move okay you can clip it a couple times sliding through and you'll see that the seat is locked in you'll crank the back a little bit so you see the seat will not move on this anymore okay very little bit movement if you do you just crank it a little bit more to tighten it so it won't move okay and there you have it this is the GoGo Babies with the Recaro Pro Ride. Um, so you can see this pulls out. Uh, let me see that. So this goes down, pulls back. It's the highest it goes. I'm foot five foot nine. Comes to about my tummy. So you can see it pushes in. If I just adjust the seat and put these things back down. See the sun going there. That's what it looks like. Okay. So this is the GoGo -Go Baby Deluxe. See, it's pretty smooth. Very nice. Moves around. I don't know if you rollerblade, but this is what we're doing going through the airport.